Hey everybody, second day of the April Project Mount Challenge and today I'm going to make an image gallery in React. So as you can see, I mocked and Figma the app. Um, we're going to have in the full screen application, we're going to have four, four rows and in the, in the phone, we're going to have these two rows, okay? So um, each image is going to have two buttons one to download the image and one to to maximize uh, sort of the image here we have um the image maximize uh, we have a um, close button and some text here that i i don't know what to put yet but we're going to do something there maybe about some statistic of the, the image like the size and i don't know um the author all right, so we have here all the files already. Um, I mean the component files, and we are going to create the gallery. So what I'm doing now is creating all the functional components of each in, in, in each file, and and yeah, um, I have a couple of problems here with the new components because I wanted to do do them all at the same time. That was a little bit of a stretch, but um, now I created a hook here to get the data. Uh, so I'm going to let this play. This this time was play. I'm going to check out with you when, when something happens. All right, so enjoy the, the demos. So here I was making the algorithm to make it so each column has roughly uh, the same height. Um, I achieved this by having a threshold and adding images uh, to an array until that array exceeds some threshold that I defined, uh, I defined above each column it's going to have nearly the same height maybe uh, with a difference of one image or half an image and that was the idea of the, this whole image gallery that the columns has the, the same height and all the images are not in, in, a, in a grid uh, and are with different height inside of the column so nice
Alright, so here I started to make the functionality of each image. So I added um, an info button and a download button. Uh, also here I, I'm doing the, the close button uh, when you maximize the image. Also, I'm putting a lot of style here, uh, but uh, I don't know, there are a lot of styles and things, so I don't know how to uh, explain the styles because the styles are um, like try and error and try different things uh, to make it all work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see you in the next clip that I'm going to show you sort of how the app works.
All right, so um, the app is finished now, I think. Um, so first I'm going to show what it does, right? Uh, basically, it's a, a image gallery. Uh, we can go uh, maximize the image. And yeah, all right, we have here a download button that goes to the link. Um, don't worry, this is some <laughs> weirdness. Um, and then um, each column of the the gallery has about the same height, right? Now in smaller devices, um, the app reloads with only two columns, and again the the height of each column is uh, roughly the same. And yeah, that's that's about it. So now we're going to see how how this works. All right, so in the main component of the app, uh, we have the app component. We have a get data uh, hook that basically returns um, array of, of data. Um, this can be fit, but I have here um, hard-coded data. And then uh, we have here the gallery that we pass through props. We pass an array of images. Then in the gallery component, we have a get column get columns a uh, hook that uh, when we call it this hook gives gives us an array of col columns that have roughly the same height all right um uh, what it does is first it creates um creates an array of arrays of uh, to to hold the columns and then it sums the height of all the images in the image array and then here we have a threshold that it, it, it's the, the the previous sum, this sum, and uh, divided the columns of uh, the um, the amount of column that I want. Then here we we put in each column uh, one image until the current height of the column it's more than the threshold, and then we reset the current uh, column and we repeat until we don't have any more items then here we map through the columns and we create column components in the column components we basically map again but this time we create image frame components and in the image frame components we have all let's see if you can see it all this that basically is each container of uh, the, the images and that's about it we have a couple of ternary operators here that hide or shows buttons and all the stuff and yeah I think that's that's it all right so uh, this may be a simple project but it has some things to it I had to make sort of an algorithm in there to divide the images into columns. And yeah, uh, I think it was really fun to make this. And tomorrow, tomorrow hopefully, I will have another of this uh, project. So yeah, and, and that's about it. So, goodbye.